<laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I thought this thing wasn't trying to work. I got a bit. But, well, good morning, fam. I pray y'all good. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night to you, wherever you at. I pray y'all good. If not, y'all know what's up. Now, before we get in that grandma time reading out loud, please be reminded, okay? All over the earth, all over the world, there's prayers that need to be prayed for. And prayers are being answered because they've been prayed for. But here's the thing. How deep is your heart in the prayers you pray? Okay. That's that's my question to y'all. Are y'all just praying to, just to be praying? Or are you really talking to God at, with that conversation and it's getting deep to the point where your spiritual discernment is 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 felt without even being mentioned? Basically, do you care about those you can't reach physically? But you pray for and fishing. That's my question. Yeah. Thought it off with that. Yeah. People still try and fight me. But at the same time, I'm, I'm learning, hey, whatever they see on me, they, it's, it's rubbing them the wrong way. But they ain't my foot. Like, I'm doing my part. Like, Somebody asked me if I would describe myself in one word. Besides wild, W-I-L-D, besides wild, uh, I would say encouragement. One word is to describe me, encouragement. Because out of all the things that's been trying to kill me off and take me out, I, I, I learned, I learned as I got older. When, when the man who's raising you tell you something, you need to pay attention to. And I never stopped paying attention, okay, because he was making it real clear, and then he was following through after whatever he said. If, if I didn't obey what he said, I got hit with karma right there. <laughs> so it was like he was setting me up for what to expect after he told me his instructions to me. Like, I never liked it, but I understood it now. Like, because he kept telling me I don't, have a, I don't have no friends out here. Like, and he told me I would never be cool, that he is cool, and I would never be cool. And so I'm like, oh, so I must be hot, you <laughs> see I'm trying to be funny, yeah, but yeah. So he said he, he, he kind of chuckled with me. So yeah, but he had, he understood that I wasn't gonna stop fighting. Right? Like you're not just gonna kill me off out here, fam. And y'all living backwards out here, fam. Like wait, man, wait. So, and so the the man I raised me told me to listen and pay attention. And and when I did that. I, I was learning that he would set up things before I walk into it. But then I thought about my Heavenly Father doing the same thing, spiritually, setting up things for me to walk through. Even though the people there didn't have my best interest, God blessed them to know I had their best interest and that I was going to be encouragement in the very thing they would need an encouragement in. So what tripped me out is when when the man that raised me was warning me, I don't have no friends, and I know why now. I'm like, Lord, <laughs> why? So so can you explain to the people who wanted me to chase after them? Can you explain to them why I'm not going to do that? Like, I'm not chasing nobody, man. Like, y'all don't like me. And if you do, you too slow with it. You too slow with it. You too quiet about it. I'm loud with man for a reason. Because y'all too slow, man. Like, y'all quick to do evil. 
but slow to do what good for you. Like, make that make sense, man. Like, please, make that make sense, man. And so, uh, yeah, the man that raised me, his birthday, December 6th, so that's 12-6. When you go to Proverbs, go to Proverbs. Proverbs 12, 6. Go to Proverbs 12. Y'all saw the old flower hiding there? Yeah, that's for my neighbor. Yeah. Proverbs 12, 6. Proverbs 12. She that wins souls is wise. It's the top of the page of the title. I'm, I'm not going to read the whole time. I'm just going to give you the man that raised me his birthday scripture. Like, because I gave y'all a man. It was Proverbs 312. Y'all read that. Let me give you the man that raised me his birthday scripture, which is 12 6. So, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 6. It say the words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, Colin. But the mouth of the upright shall deliver pay. Let me repeat that. The words of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, Colin. But the mouth of the upright shall deliver pay. So, and when I read that scripture. And, and remember how he, how he would have things prepared and set up for me to just watch you and follow instructions and do what I'm supposed to do. Cause his 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 only rule was, if I'm gonna have you around somebody else, just listen and pay attention. Cause, but don't be thinking these people are your friends, bro. What the heck, man? I mean, why you got me around him, pop? Like that that was my. That was my talk back to him. Like, if you know what's up, then why you got me around him in the first place? And he like, you got to learn. You got to grow. You got to learn how to defend yourself. Like, I've been doing that my whole life. What's the difference now? Like, you still growing. I'm like, all right, back to I don't know what he expected me to do different. And he started listening and paying attention with my heart and hand behind. The, with the best of my ability, knowing they was using that against me sometimes, not everybody cared, okay? But those who did care, they got their blessing back. Those who made it hard for me, I don't know what they, I don't know where they at now. I pray they're okay, but I just need y'all to understand the fight in me is because y'all keep giving me a reason to fight. Like... I'm chill if you chill. But if you start something, I'm going to have to finish it. Well, like, I'm not just about to sit down and roll up. You already took my children from me. Like, what, what else you expect, fam? Like, this is war, bro. Like, this is war, fam. Like, so, I just want y'all to know, man. Definition for me is encouragement. And I read it. I call on Jesus when I know I'm heated. But after getting into a fight with somebody, because they know they're playing with my heart the wrong way. So, I be trying to warn people, man. Like, don't don't take my tender heartedness towards you for a weakness. And they do it every time. But they can't say I didn't warn them after, the, after they messed up the little friendship we had and I walk away. God did that, not me. God knows exactly who I am. Well, you know, I would go smack right back at you and act like ain't none of that just happened. Why? Because I'm bigger than that small sin y'all keep chasing, bro. I'm bigger than that. I know I am. Otherwise, I wouldn't say encouragement. I mean, you can tell people get encouraged when you show up. And you can tell when they're intimidated for no reason when you show up. they only intimidated because they don't like you. But those who are encouraged, they know what's in you and what's on you for coming from God. They know it too. Otherwise, they wouldn't have felt that, whatever it is they felt when you show up. All right, so, Grandma's time.
Cookies. Reading out loud. Okay. Exodus. E X O D U S. Chapter 17. On page 99 in my Aunt Anna's Holy Bible, right? Cookies. Yeah, she's not playing, bro. I need y'all rest. The title at the top of the page 99 is say, Water from the Rock. Wow. Water from the Rock. Okay. So let's pray. Get y'all equipped. Here, <clears throat> I'm about to be burping. Here, fulfilled, saved from going to hell. Okay? All right, that's right. I love y'all. Y'all know that. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this gift, chance, opportunity, preordained permission to come to your throne humbly but boldly, thanking you again for waking us up. One more time, one more time, Lord, one more time with this blessing, Father. I pray you be glorified through it by the reading of your word and the praying of this prayer will convict heart that are lost to get back to being found in your righteous, marvelous light that sweep those off their feet who call on that name, Jesus Christ. Our Lord and Savior who gave up his life so we can live this life in his light in the midst of darkness, wickedness, evil, and just not good. Lord, you make it good when you provide us with your wisdom and knowledge when we call in Jesus. Thank you for that opportunity every time. I pray for those who refuse to use that opportunity to call in your land, that you would convict their heart to do just that, call in Jesus. Otherwise, what are we doing here? Because the reading of your, of your word will not be effective without your Holy Spirit in them, encouraging them, urging them to read your word on their own accord so it may save their heart from the enemy trying to tear it apart. And thank you for keeping us whole by the reading of your word. Even if we don't understand your word, we read it with the Holy Spirit according to your riches and glory. Wow. I thank you and praise you for how you keep me moving when it looks like there's nothing to be moved. Your supernatural touch on everything. I appreciate it much, Lord. Please help me to be a help and a blessing spiritually before the natural take over. According to your riches and glory, I pray that those who are scared, un, who, who feel unlearned, who feel trapped in a, and there's no way out, please touch them in their heart now, Lord, that there's a way out, Cardinal Jesus. And right away, with your wisdom and knowledge, apply correctly to the heart and the reign of their heart. I pray they will give you gl the glory you deserve, the praise you deserve, Father God. Protection them through this prayer, meeting them right where they are. Because I know that the lot of spirits are messing with individuals. But they don't even know it's a bunch of spirits messing with. Please release them from all those spirits and let your Holy Spirit destroy every evil, wicked spirit trying to distract them from calling on Jesus. And thank you, Lord, with every word read out loud that it will hit the listen in that dark place. Meet them right where they are so they can be uplifted, motivated, inspired, to walk in their purpose after learning that calling in Jesus, praying to him, casting all their care, care stuff, whatever is not good to him so that he can help him. help me as well, meet you right where you need to be met. So you know God is the true living God. 
a heavenly father who cares more than we will ever care. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to pray, read, and then sing, worship, and pray from our heart to our heart who need to be touched. I pray you be glorified to this. Nothing less. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for everything. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. Good. Oh, here we go. So, page 99, I am the Holy Bible. Good. Then the letter one, yeah. Title state, Water from the Rock. Uh, uh, there's no uh, title in the chapter 17, so the first verse, okay? Give y'all a second to get the Exodus. E-X-O-D-U-X, chapter 17. Good. All right, y'all ready? Uh, can y'all see me? Uh, verse 1. Good. Oh, here we go. Verse 1. And all the congregation of the children of Israel journeyed from the wilderness of sin, comma, after their journey, comma, according to the commandment of the Lord, comma, and pitched in Rephidim, curling. And there was no water for the people to drink, period. Verse 2. Wherefore, the people did shod with most, comma, and said, comma, Give us water that we may drink, period. And Moses said unto them, comma, Why shod ye with me? Question mark. Wherefore do ye tempt the Lord? Question mark. Verse 3. And the people thirsted there for water. Semicolon. And the people murmured, against much, comma, and said, comma, wherefore is this that thou hast brought us up out of each, comma, to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst? Question mark. Verse 4. And Moses cried unto the Lord, comma, saying, comma, what shall I do unto these people? Question mark. They be almost ready to stone you, pray. Verse 5, And the Lord said unto Moses, comma, Go on before the people, comma, and take with thee of the elders of Israel, Simicah, and thy rock, comma, wherewith thou smotest the river, comma, take in thy hand, comma, and go. Period. Verse 6, Behold, comma, I will stand before thee there upon the rock, in Horeb, let me come. And thou shalt smite the rock, comma, and there shall come water out of it, comma, that the people may drink, period. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel, period. Let me repeat that, y'all. Verse 6. Behold, behold, comma, <clears throat> excuse me, I will stand before thee. There upon the rock in Horeb, Simicah, and thou shalt smite the rock, comma, and there shall come water out of it, comma, that the people may drink, period. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel, period. Verse 7, and he called the name of the place Master, comma, and Meribah, comma, because of the shining of the children of Israel, comma, and because they tempted the Lord, comma, saying, comma, is the Lord among us, comma, or not? Question mark. Verse 8. Then came Amalek, comma, and fought with Israel in Rephidim. Okay. <coughs> Verse 9. Q. And Moses said unto Joshua, Comma, choose us out men, comma, and go out, comma. Fight with Amalek, comma. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand, period. 
verse 10. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him, comma, and fought with Amalek, good. And Moses, comma, and, comma, and her went up to the top of the hill. Period. Verse 11. And it came to pass, comma, when Moses held up his hand, comma, that Israel prevailed, curtain. And when he let down his hand, comma, Amalek prevailed, period. Verse 12. But Moses' hands were heavy, semicolon. And they took a stone, comma, and put it under him, comma, and he sat there on, semicolon. And Aaron and her stayed up his hand, comma, the one on the one side, comma, and the other on the other side, semicolon. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun, period. Verse 13. And Joshua discomfited Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword, of the sword. Period. Verse 14. And the Lord said unto Moses, comma, write this for a memorial in the book, comma, and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua, comma, for I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under, from under heaven. Period. Verse 15. And Moses built an ark, comma, and called the name of it Jehovah Nissi, curly. Verse 16. For he said, comma, because the Lord has sworn that the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Period. Chapter 18. Uh, that's the end, y'all. That's the end of Exodus. Chapter 18, I mean 17. Exodus chapter 17, okay? And it tied the water from the rock. So y'all knew, <clears throat> once again, if you start complaining to a holy God and you're not even counting all the blessings, faith, before you start complaining, don't get mad how things start going from this. You must count all your blessings before you decide to talk to a holy God, bro. Like, man. <laughs> God wants you to try him, bro. I see that. I, I, he wants you to give him a reason, bro. So, by all means, I just hope you prepare after you done did all that complaining, because from what I'm reading, you some ungrateful people, man. Like, very ungrateful. Man. Like, very ungrateful. First, you complaining not having water when you know God is the water to your life. All he asked you put him first, they ain't do that. They kept complaining to Moses and uh, where's my water? Uh, you need to call on the Lord first. Okay? And God is not playing when God wants to be first. He will go out his way and make sure he first, bro. Like, that's why I be laughing when people be talking, talking, bro. I be like, okay. I pray you don't think you better than your creators, bro, because you already laughing at you, like, before you even get started. Before you even get started. Oh, man. Hey, hey, before I hop up here, if you're not here, please ask with the Holy Spirit. Go back and reread everything, okay? I think y'all first best bet thing to do. The best, your best bet is to be thankful. You breathing right now, okay? Before we start talking about People who lost their homes in the fire. Y'all, do y'all not see God's wrath right now? Y'all, y'all just call it global warming and uh, current events. No, that's God's wrath. Okay, if I was to lay out all of God's wrath on y'all, y'all still be shook. So I'm not trying to have you shook. I'm trying to prepare you for what to look forward to. Okay. 
And if you don't read his word, you're going to miss it while it's happening. Okay? Y'all do not want to admit the truth. And you can't handle it. So I'm going to teach you how to be a disciple to handle the truth. Okay? Because you're coming. And you can't run from the truth. Okay? You can't. I see y'all out here trying to learn how to jog and run fast. Like you going to outrun God's weapon. Right up on your, man, right up on your, right up on your, you can't outrun God's weapon. He allowed Elijah to do that because he wanted to show Elijah where he was. Okay. I'm, I'm letting y'all know now. Humble yourself like an obedient child. And you won't have to sacrifice. Well, like, duh, like, obedience is better than sacrifice. Man. See, Old Testament, they had to sacrifice because they was disobedient. The whole time, they ain't want to obey. They wanted to live their life the way they wanted to live. So God was like, okay. Well, if you're trying to please me, you're going to have to sacrifice. And those who were wise and smart, sacrifice, okay? Because they knew, they knew, they knew others would be disobedient to something simple. And they was making it difficult for God to bless them. So those who were smart and wise, they sacrificed in the Old Testament. Okay? Then the New Testament came. And all Jesus said to everyone was, two commandments I give you. Love God with everything you have, and your neighbor as yourself. And y'all make that the most difficult thing to do out here. Bro. But yeah, you want what you want. But you can't get along with your neighbor, though. Like, man, y'all be lynching, bro. Y'all <laughs> be lynching, bro. So, like I said, I didn't like how the man that was raising me set me up to go through a lot of whatever I went through, but you got to give it to him. It did help me to grow and get along with people that hard to get along with, that didn't want to get along with me, that wanted to fight me as soon as I showed up. And, and, and as I'm going through all them life experiences, the one thing that never left was Jesus kept saying, go. Go. He, he never told me stop. He told me go. Man. He didn't tell me stop. And if everybody else was trying to stop me, but he kept telling me go, the one. Go. And I'm like, where am I going to go without you, G? Because these people, I, I, I don't do confusion. And he like, I got you. Just go. And so I would go. Next thing I know, I'm getting to another level. Out of, out of where it don't even look like, you know how, all right. You have a, a a road map, right? Okay. The way God was moving me, there was no road map, okay? He was making the way where there was no way. Just put it like that. And I'm here to this day. <laughs> go the one. Go. And man, when I say I was waiting on him to give me the go, and he, he always gave me the go because he knew what I was trying to do. Make him first. Man. man. Why everybody trying to not have them in their life at all. You can you cannot live this life without your creator. Yeah? Like, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I, 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 why would you even, you that mad? Hmm? You that evil? Hmm? You that mad at your own creator that you won't put him first so he can bless you and give you his kingdom on this earth in front of everyone. You that mad. You don't even lo love yourself and enough to know who you are by, who, by the gift he gives you about who you are. And nobody else has to know. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a personal relationship with the spirit of truth. Okay, God is the spirit and he's the truth through his son Jesus Christ. The truth who gave us the Holy Spirit, the truth so that we don't have to live a lie out here. Y'all comfortable living lies. I can't do that. That's why I don't have any friends, okay? Because y'all too comfortable in living a lie, okay? In front of your creator. But I'm not about to do that, bro. I look like, <laughs> put 
peace on that. <laughs> Love you. Put the guns down. Stop thinking about bloodshed. Stop thinking about hitting somebody just to get your little point across. And thinking it's going to be peace after that, you know. You're going to get what you get. Times a hunch. God is not playing. So I hope you like good food and good fruit. Because then you will do the work to do it. And I'm, when I say the work, I mean obedience to God and his instructions. Not you going out here trying to make your own without giving God the glory. That is not true. God will get his glory. And if you're not allowing him to work through you as a righteous vessel, you're going to be on the other side of righteousness. And that's not life. That's death. Okay? I'm here to remind you of life. And it's in the reading of his word first. Then go out and work, at, work out your salvation after what you just read and study. That way you equip. And the Holy Spirit is reminding you, hey, remember this? Confirm that. Man. See, see, Jesus, Jesus is never born, y'all. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. That's the thing. Somebody lied to you about God being born, you know. That's your smart mindedness. That's your smart mind thinking. Y'all not ready over here, bro. When I say I got a whole heaven on earth in front of you, in this little book right here. You wondering how I'm coming at with all these. It's not me, man, with the Holy Spirit in me. Okay, I keep telling y'all, bro. Obey what you need, it will take care of it. This obey what you need, you're going to be sure. That simple. Like, take care of what you have, and it will take care of you. Like, be a good and wise steward over what you have, and God will bless you with more. And, and I'm going to be honest, y'all. I, I do not like a lot of stuff. Okay, because I can't keep up with all that. Man. I, I really honestly be asking God, can I do more with less? Because you know I'm not materialistic. I'm not, bro. I'm not, bro. <laughs> man, well, that's why y'all, that's why people know I'm being a person, because I don't have nothing for them to take. Good, because you're not taking from me. I'm giving anyway. I'm giving it anyway, because I'm not materialistic, bro. If I have any material thing, I have no problem sharing it with you. But don't think for one second you're going to try to rob it from me, take it from No, because God going to bless me with something better. So go ahead and be stupid if you want to. I'm one of y'all. God first. And when you put him first, when I'm signing you, will click instantly. you like, oh, he is not lying. I don't have time for that. So I pray you enjoy your day. Don't hurt nobody. Go in your secret place. Pray. Give God all the glory when you come out in the public. And he will reward you for what you did privately with him. And his son and the Holy Spirit. And be real with your heart, okay? Heart attacks are real, bro. They come from not giving it to God, bro. And just that. So I miss y'all later. Catch y'all. Keep reading until you you heal, you feel whole, you laughing, giggling, ready to get up, dance, worship, and pray to God. Reading God's word should entice you. If it don't, then you got a lot of darkness and wickedness in there that need to be uh, destroyed. So his tender heartedness, his sensitivity of life is put back in you, and you know how to get through this. Because you, your heart, your heart is not hardened like he did Pharaoh. Don't give God a chance to harden your heart. See, dumb, dumb. Cause then you really against your help and you need help and you're not gonna get it because you chose to keep hardening your heart against the one who needs you to wake up. Know your part. Know your role. Know why you're here. You have a purpose. Okay. I can't emphasize that enough. You are valuable, okay? 
Don't wait till the last minute say, oh, DJ went line. Uh, man, I've been telling you over and over and over, like a broken record. Call on Jesus. I dare you call on Jesus, because you know he's going to wake you up quickly. You know he. That's why y'all don't call him. Because you know he got them, he's more than magic, since y'all like to play with magic. He's actual supernatural, bro. No need for magic. <laughs> Exodus chapter 17. Please don't be like the Israelites, ungrateful. Please don't do that. Please be thankful. Please appreciate your very breath you breathing right now. Give God all the glory. Call him Jesus, please. So you don't end up in hell with your ungrateful. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Peace. Catch you later. And then that's right.